Flexibility is the quality of bending easy without breaking. A way to train your flexibility is to stretch. Stretching straightens or extends a part of your body to its limit. When you stretch it expands your muscles and when you push them to your limit it means you can bend further. A fitness test for flexibility is a sitting reach test. This is where you sit on the floor with your legs fully extended and your flexibility is measured by the number of inches your hands are away from your feet. This method of training is very important because if you do not, if you do not have flexibility you may struggle to do other ex exercises because you're unable to bend down very far and you'll have poor technique which could lead to back injuries or breaking bones. There are some dangers to overstretching because you can cause very serious injury to your muscles which can take lengths of time to repair. When I did the sitting reach test I found that I can reach up to 3 inches away from my toes while they are on the wall which is which is alright I suppose but this means that I can't, I can't bend down which makes my form wrong in some exercises such as the deadlift. For the service I am looking to join I do not need to have a, have brilliant flexibility but it's it's something to work on because if you have poor flexibility it could affect uh, my career aspirations. Strength is the state of being physically strong. A way to train your strength is by lifting weights but when you lift weights the reps should be low and the weight should be high. For example you could use bench press, weighted squats, pull ups, deadlifts or or tricep dips. When you lift these weights, you are actually you actually rip the muscle, which will then heal over eventually and with stronger muscle cells, which increases your strength. A fitness test for strength is the one rep max test. This is where you lift as uh, lift as much weight as you can just in one rep. This tests your strength because it is one rep one rep with a high weight. This method of training is is also important to work on especially if you want a career in the services because most of the jobs are physically physic are physical and require being strong i would say that i'm quite strong in my one rep max especially the deadlift because it's because it's almost double my body weight muscular endurance is the ability of a muscle or a group of muscles to sustain repeated contractions against a resistance for an extended experience of time a way to train your muscular endurance is to lift weights, but to do this you need high reps with low weights. For example, you could do press ups, which is body weight, sit ups, which are body weight, and lunges, which can use body weight or dumbbells, for example. When you do these exercises, you work the muscle without ripping it, you, just, you strain the muscle instead. A fitness test for this would be the push up test. This is where you do as many push ups as you can in two minutes. This tests your endurance because there are many contractions. This method of, tra of training is really important for the services because you'll, you'll be moving and exercising all day during basic training. So having muscular endurance is key because otherwise you will struggle to keep up with other people and, and to keep up with what you're being asked to do. Power is the ability to exert a maximum force in a short time such as accelerating, jumping or throwing. A way to train this is by doing plyometric workouts. An example of this would be burpees, box jumps or skipping. When you do plyometrics, it creates explosive movement which manipulates the elasticity and strength of muscles by increasing the speed and force of in, in which they contract. A fitness test for power would be the vertical jump test. This is when you jump straight up as high as you can and this test shows power because it involves explosive movements in your legs. Power is an important method of training because to do some exercises you must have power like for example if you're doing box jumps you need strong explosive movements to get onto that box. Aerobic endurance is your ability of your cardiovascular and respiratory systems to sustain moderate intensity exercises over extended periods of time. A way to train aerobic endurance is interval training, circuit training or swimming. When you do this exercise, it improves your aerobic endurance because it trains the heart and, and lungs to work efficiently and get enough nutrients and oxygen to your working muscles. A fitness test for aerobic endurance is, is the multi-stage fitness test or the bleep test. This is when you run either 15 or 20 metres from one marker to another and get back again over and over again. This trains aerobic endurance 
because it's, it's all about how long you can run for. Speed is the rate at which someone is able to operate. The way to train speed is sprints resist and resistant workouts. When you do these exercises, it, put, it puts muscles through a fuller range of motion, improving flexibility, and trains more muscles, leading to better muscle balance and prevents injury. A fitness test uh, for speed is the sprint test. This is when you sprint 100 metres in as little time as possible. It tests your speed because you're using a full range of movement in your legs and arms to run as fast as possible. Speed is an important method of training because if you need to run fast in the services, let's say you're on an operation in the Navy and there was a hole in the ship's hull and you need to fix it and need to be there as fast as possible to prevent the sinking of the ship. My speed is okay at the moment but I haven't tested it in a while, so I don't know how fast I'll be able to run. Health-related fitness tests are very common in schools and consist of the following tests for each area. Cardiovascular endurance, which is tested by normally a 1.5 mile run. Muscular strength and endurance, which are tested from with the upper body in maximum push-ups and maximum sit-ups in two minutes.